this is an absolutely exclusive right here, right now. We've just got footage of Sam Bankman-Fried after this whole FTX debacle. Go check it out. It's Armageddon in crypto right now. The third worst thing that could possibly happen has already happened. And things might be about to get even worse. We've already heard about FTX and BlockFi. Now we're hearing rumblings of Gemini and Genesis. And we still don't know who the other big players are that are swimming with their pants down. But through all of this, there may be a light at the end of the tunnel. Long story short, Binance was an early investor in FTX. Sam Beckman fried of FTX was going around in political circles talking shit about Binance and their CEO. They got wind of this and decided they're going to dump the FTT token. By the way, they held $500 million of the token. The market decided to front run this, so they started selling. This caused the price of the FTT token token to go down because FTX was using the FTT token as collateral they started getting margin call they were unable to top up their collateral and as a result some of their positions started getting liquidated then they pretty much paused withdrawals the moral of the story is do not bite the hand that feeds you the funniest part about all of this, if there even is a funny part, because so many people lost so much money, is the CEO, the top dog of Alameda Research was Caroline. Lost a ton of money. Um, well, I don't know. I probably don't want to go into specifics too much yeah. with that. <laughs> that was fresh out of uni with no experience running a multi-billion dollar company. <laughs> I wonder how they possibly could have failed with her in charge. You could see how green she was just by the fact that she tweeted that they would buy all Binance's $500 million worth of tokens at $22. She's pretty much just gone ahead and told the market what their liquidation price is or the price at which they would have to post more collateral. So the market did what it would naturally do and it tests that price. And therefore the price of the FTT token went from $22 to $2. And the end result was a few days later, FTX came Came out and said 130 plus companies were going into liquidation. So if there's any companies, projects, founders, or anything else that you support, look for those five red flags. So we're here now, withdrawals have been paused, 5 million people have been affected, 130 plus companies that are affiliated or subsidiaries of FTX have been shut down. Many companies are coming out and saying things like their treasuries are stuck on FTX, that includes investment funds, institutional investors, NFT projects like Solchix. And looking back at it now, it was so painfully obvious. There were so many red flags. SBF, Sam Bankman-Fried, acting like he knew everything, even though he was eight years late to the crypto party and he'd only been in business for four years who does that huge political donations i mean who in their right mind would be donating to political parties unless they had an angle unless there was something that they wanted and what sam bankman fried of ftx wanted more than anything was to gain control of the crypto industry he wanted to make ftx the center of it and every other company and DeFi project and everyone else out there especially if they're not us entities to suffer for it probably the most important thing that you want to keep note of is his shoes. Ego purchases. A $250 million purchase to name a stadium. Celebrity endorsement deals. It's clear the man had a god complex. Effective altruism virtue signaling. It's pretty much he wants to do good in the world. Anyone that tells you, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a good guy, I promise. I'm giving away all my wealth. Nah, buddy. Nah. Nah. Is probably not gonna do that. But Philip, how on earth am I meant to protect myself moving forward? I got you, I got you. Number one, don't trust anyone on social media, including myself, anyone. No moon boys, no social media influencers, no one that is pumping a coin, D-Y-O-R. Do your own research, stay safe out there. Number two, the moment you hear an inkling of anything going down with a centralized exchange, just take your money out. 
there's no point waiting until the exchange shuts its withdrawals before you start taking money out. BlockFi became insolvent in June and they only shut their doors a few days ago when the FTX debacle hit the fan. So if you had your assets in BlockFi, there was absolutely zero reason that you did not take your assets out of BlockFi when shit hit the fan in June. Number three. A centralized exchange should only be used for off-ramping or on-ramping, aka you put Australian dollars, US dollars, you put it onto your exchange, you convert it to a stable coin, and then you take it immediately off into a wallet, or vice versa. You have USDC or USDT, you have a stable coin, you put it onto the exchange and then you withdraw it into your bank account. That's it. If you wanna trade crypto, do it on decentralized exchanges like uh, DYDX or GMX. The last one and probably the most important one. If we've had four events go down like this, just this year with Three Arrows Capital, Celsius, Voyager, BlockFi, now FTX, that's five events in one year how many do you think we're going to get in the next 10 years? I don't know the answer to that, but I do know for sure it'll be more than one. And I'm not willing to leave my hard-earned money, my hard-earned capital, my hard-earned coins in the hands of someone else, aka a centralized exchange. That's why I use a ledger. If you want to grab yourself a ledger like mine, I have left the link down below. We're not even sponsored by Ledger. We just love their product. But Ledger, if you're listening, we want a sponsorship deal. But out of everything that has happened to date, there has been positives. If it were not for FTX, we would be pumping right now. And you might say to yourself, well, that would be a great thing. Well, yeah, it would, if you were completely allocated. But if you were like me and sat mostly on the sidelines for the most of this year, you would still be sitting in stable coins or US dollars. So this has presented a huge opportunity because coins are down, ETH is down, Bitcoin's down, all the alts have taken a hit, but that is a huge opportunity. So where do the opportunities lie? They lie in decentralized projects. For decentralized exchanges, you've got Uniswap and SushiSwap tokens. For options trading, you've got Dopex. For perp trading, you've got GMX and DYDX. For scaling solutions, you've got OP, you've got Metis, you've got Arbitrum, which I'm a huge proponent of the Arbitrum ecosystem. For Oracles, you've got Chainlink. So there is plenty of opportunity for us to pick up cheap digital assets that are able to produce exorbitant returns. Stay safe, know why you're investing, and always have an exit strategy.